I've got a small, quick, brief tip for you guys, and this applies to the Surface Duo, but honestly, it applies to like any Android phone or any phone really on the market that can install Google Photos. So one of my biggest complaints about the Surface Duo is just the camera. In good light, it's passable. In anything less than good light, it gets really grainy and it gets pretty bad pretty quickly. But there's one thing I've been doing with every phone I've owned for really since this feature has been a thing. I take a picture and almost universally, I go into the Google Photos app, I hit the edit button and I hit their auto button and it pretty quickly makes a, an okay image look pretty darn good. And it might surprise you how big of a difference a quick three second tweak might make to the photos you've taken on your phone or on your Surface Duo. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pop over to my handy picture in picture thing, which I have been using all the time. And I'm gonna pull up a handful of pictures that I have taken. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like after Google Photos does its magic. All right, so here's a picture I took, some cool looking clouds up on my balcony. So if you click on edit down here, and then all you gotta do is click on auto. That's it. So let's save it like that. It brightened it up. It helps some of the contrast. Generally speaking, that looks a bit better. Now look, you're not gonna get any more detail when you're zoomed in. It's not gonna fix any of the noise, anything like that. But the lighting, the colors, the brightness, the contrast, it's gonna help with that stuff. Now, both because this actually works better for what I'm doing and also to show you that you can do this, if you go to photos.google.com, you can do all of this stuff from your web browser. So here's a bigger image of that picture. Here are my wife's prized elephant ears in the backyard. Same deal here, we can click on edit, auto, and that is a warmer, more pleasing image to my eye. This looks washed out. It looks unremarkable. That is a much more eye-popping picture. And I'm going to tell you right now that when you're talking about posting it to Instagram, posting it to Twitter, posting it to Facebook, that's a better picture. This one makes a big difference. So look at this. Now, honestly, I probably wouldn't post this picture anyways because it's a bad picture. It's really blown out. The HDR did a terrible job with this picture. But if I click on auto, you can't tell me that's not a more contrasty, more vibrant, more eye-popping picture. It objectively is. We've got a portrait mode photo of, this is my boy Rutherford. Portrait mode is really hit or miss if it's not a person on this thing. It's blurred part of his chest here and it's the front of his claws, but nothing else. It's kind of a mess, but let's click on auto. Look at the contrast. And it, it, because of the contrast, it actually gives you the illusion of more detail. The grass looks so much clearer, looks so much more vibrant. You almost don't notice that the bokeh is broken. Same kind of deal here with my girl Copper. The blur is in all sorts of weird places. Probably just avoid using portrait mode on this thing unless you're pointing it at a human being. Let's click on auto. Same thing, everything pops, the contrast is better. That huge difference, absolutely massive difference to these pictures. Here's an image which includes a lot of detail in the bottom already with the clovers, the stones, the colors. Let's see if this thing, how it looks after clicking on auto. It's a warmer image, it's a more contrasty image. I'm repeating myself here, but I just wanna keep showing you, I wanna keep driving home how big of a difference this can make. Here's one more of Copper looking very regal, looking very alert. She's getting a little old, guys. My girl here, she's, you know, look, she, she's got a little gray popping up in the face and the muzzle. This used to be all black, this used to be all black. She's, you know, she's gonna be 11 in February. She's a tough girl. Let's hit auto. How much more does this image pop with auto clicked? I can keep driving this point home over and over. Get into the habit of when you take a picture, just go in and do this. It's gonna take you two seconds to do. 
and look at the difference it can make. Look at how much better that image is after clicking on auto. Here's a portrait image of myself. Does much better on a human subject. Look at the difference. Washed out, unremarkable. Boom, punchier, vibrant. The colors look better. On this one, it looks like all we really got was the contrast, the brightness up here, up in the upper portion of the screen got lifted. I could take 100 pictures and click on auto 100 times and 95 of those would look better than they did before. So there's not a lot for me just to drill home on this other than just to show you how consistently better clicking auto is. So just get in the habit of when you take a photo, go into Google Photos, edit, auto, save, and you're going to have a much improved picture. I'll see you guys on the next video. Until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. If you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a Scary If Literal member. You'll get access to a whole bunch of emoticons to use with live streams and a shout out on an upcoming video. Thanks, as always, for your continued support.